Today I'm going to talk about composting. It's something that people find more difficult than it really should be. Reason being, it isn't just about throwing everything in one bin and waiting for Mother Nature to do her thing. Composting is brilliant. It's one of my favourite jobs in the garden. It's a massive time saver if done properly and will add a great feed for your herbaceous stuff, roses, etc. over the year. The key to composting is regular turning, getting the air needed into the matter to break down as soon as possible. A typical scenario and usual off-putting non-starter for most people is the mistake of using those narrow plastic bins where you throw everything in the top. It has a flap at the front, down at the bottom, where apparently pure compost comes out like magic. Unfortunately, not true. In my experience, where people I know have used them, they usually get stuff so full it's impossible to go back and take it all out and turn it at a later date. The outcome is the supposed compost just turns into an unpleasant, slimy, smelly mess that nobody wants to deal with. Although at the same time, I see no reason why you couldn't compost in one of these bins if the content is chopped up well enough before being put in and you're following the same steps. Having said all that, you do need a bit of free space in your garden to allocate for compost, and I'm all too aware that in towns and cities, and here in West London, this isn't always an option. Really, five or more bins would be preferable to get a more mature, refined compost at the final stage, though we don't have enough room here. We have three good-sized bins with removable slats at the front and an open base where the compost can interact with the soil beneath, very important ingredients to creating compost quickly. These are fairly big size, though you could do this on a smaller scale in your own garden. Some would say that they have to be covered to create a more heat and decompose quicker. I wouldn't argue with that, though it can make things a bit slimy and smelly when being uncovered. Plus you have to deal with taking them on and off all the time, and I like to see what's going on in there each time I visit. Obviously they are at the mercy of the rain, though you shouldn't be doing anything with the compost when it's very wet anyway. Furthermore, I believe turning is much more important than being covered. The key to composting is regular turning, getting the air needed into the matter to break down as soon as possible. Perfect ingredients to the mix is 50% leafy and 50% woody stuff. So lawn clippings or herbaceous cuttings and a pruned shrub, for example. I'm not putting any kitchen or household waste in this compost. I just prefer not to. Okay, so we've got our three bins. This is the finest, the finest soil in here. Actually, I'll start this end. This is where everything gets thrown in. Um, all garden waste gets thrown straight into this bin. Um, nothing, sort of, nothing bigger than, nothing bigger in diameter than, say, quarter of an inch or so, because it will just take longer to decompose. Um, make sure it's well chopped up before it goes into this bin and you can put anything, all garden waste, straight into it. Um, good mix, if I said woody and green would be better to quicken the process. Um, so the well rotted stuff from here goes into here, and the well rotted stuff from here goes into here, which is our finest bin. Um, so let's start off by having a look at how things have decomposed in the last three or four weeks in here. I haven't changed this, I haven't turned this bin in about, about three or four weeks, maybe five weeks. So let's have a look and see how it's, uh, been doing. Oh, look at that. So what we're going to do is actually work backwards. Um, we're going to throw, we're going to get, because most of this is, most of this bin's already quite well rotted, so I'm going to stick it straight into the last bin for now, because I want to get um, the rotted stuff out of there. 
it could it could probably do with rotting down a bit more but it's going to be fine so i'm going to what we're going to do is we're going to take the all of the manure out of here we're going to put the, the compost out of here and we're going to put it straight into this bin and then we're going to go through this bin take it all out the well rotted stuff that's at the bottom is going to go into the second bin and all this stuff will just go straight back into this bin so let's begin This is actually still quite a bit leafy um, because it's had more leaf, leaf matter than woody stuff in it, obviously. So it hasn't broken, the leaves haven't broken down quite as quickly. So to be honest, I could be, I could be just turning this and putting this straight back into the same bin that I'm taking out of, but I'm gonna put it straight into the finer bin and turn that one in a couple of weeks instead. So I've taken up as much as I want to from this bin. There's actually a few pipes under the bottom there, so I don't want to go through those. Now, the next stage, let's put these back in now that we're done with the finer side. So I'll give that a, I'll probably turn the fine stuff in a couple of weeks in the process um, okay so the next bit is the fresh bin now pretty much everything from here down is going to go into here and all of this on top is going to go back in so uh, let's make some room quickly I'm going to drag all of this top stuff out into the lawn and then backfill straight into there with the bottom stuff. Okay. The rest of this is pretty much going to go straight into that bin. There's still a lot of longer, woodier stems in here, but you can actually take them out at the last stage before you throw it in your garden. And you can do it either way. Obviously, it's quicker to do. It's better to do the at the beginning, but it's actually quicker to do it at the end to take the longer stems out. So that's what I'm going to do today. Some of the real obvious green stuff like this. Let's just pick out and then we'll get back in. So I've cleared up as much as that bin as I want, really. Um, make sure your slats are nice and clean before they go back on.
Okay. All right, so now we just need to stick all of this back in. Say <coughs> it really needs to be chopped up. I need to really go through this and chop it up um, for it to compost quicker, but it's fine for today. We're gonna, I'm just gonna throw it back in for today. Go through it in a week or so. I'm also going to dump on today's, today's waste, which is actually mainly grass, but that'll be perfect because we've got a lot of woody stuff in there. So I'm just going to literally tip it on there like that. Crazy, huh? The idea is it all goes in together and rots down, rots down together. Parts where trainers as well for doing composting. Okay, that's pretty much it. Put the slats back in. And that is it. So what I was talking about before is to take out, take out the, the longer bits that haven't decomposed, the bigger bits like that, and just throw them straight back in to the fresh bin. This, if, if, I, if, I wanted to, if I needed to use the compost today, this would be fine. The purist would say that it needs to decompose a bit more. Um, 
but if you're just spreading it on the beds, which is what I plan on doing with most of this, it's fine. If you were planting or anything with it, you'd probably you'd definitely want it to be a bit, definitely a lot more finer than this, but it's fine for uh, just spreading about on the beds and getting a bit of goodness into the beds. Wormies in there, throw them in, they're great. 